Hello everyone, it's Dan Can, the People's Realtor. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoy watching home tours, I would like to invite you to join my YouTube family by subscribing. So today we have part two of our Highland Home series. We're going to be viewing a beautiful floor plan, a little bit different from part one. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. This exterior, we have white brick with black accents. And again, we have our dark wood front door with glass accent. So come on in. So right when we step into the home, we're greeted with 22 foot ceilings, which is <laughs> always a favorite focal point for me. The home we're going to view today has three bedrooms, three baths, about 2,400 square feet, two car garage, dedicated office, game area with media room at an amazing price starting at 630,000. With all the options, it could take you anywhere to maybe 700 to 725,000 and we're sitting on a 40 foot lot, okay? So right when you come into the home, as I make a right, we have a linen closet, which could be a linen closet or a coat closet for guests, okay? We have our laundry area, which I'm gonna tell you why I love this location so much, <laughs> right? Because here we have our primary bedroom. I love the laundry area right by the primary bedroom, right? <laughs> here we have an oversized king bed. I love the design of these uh, dressers. I really like that glass and wood accent uh, for the dressers. Plenty of uh, lighting, recessed lighting. You have your oversized shutter blinds, full dressers, so you can get an idea of the scale of this home. I think they utilize the space quite well for 2,400 square feet. And here is our primary bathroom, okay? We have our dual sinks, quartz, for the vanity, slate tile. Loving the design slate tile they use for this back wall. Again, we have our oversized shutter blinds. And I can tell again, unfortunately, this is not gonna pass the Dan Can test, right? But you have about a good two inches on each side. So if you wanted to put a larger tub in here, you can, okay? Here we have a linen closet, our water roll. And again, guys, this is 2,400 square feet. So this is a pretty good closet for primary closet for 2,400 square feet, okay? Let me know in the comments, stay again to the end. If you haven't watched part one, I wanna tell you guys what I love about this area. So stick to the end, but make sure you watch part one so you can see all what Highland Homes in this community has to offer. So here we have the heart of the home, right? Let's get into it. Most living areas, the focal point to me is the fireplace. If it does have a fireplace, is the fireplace. This one is electric. If you want a gas fireplace, you can opt for that. So you have your fireplace here, nice size living area, 22 foot ceilings, plenty of recessed lighting. I mean, you can easily get you know, uh, six to eight people in here comfortably. Love the flow, love the flow of this room. You have a uh, uh, placemat for six. You can get eight here comfortably. I think anything more that would overpower the space. I think eight is more than enough. Utilizing all the space in this, in this area quite well. You have your seating area here. So you can take advantage of your backyard oasis, okay? And what do you guys think about this kitchen area, right? Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this kitchen area? Loving the circular island here, okay? This is this is why I say they utilize the space because you can still, I would still consider this to be an oversized island because you still can get four bar stools here. Loving this feature they're doing, right? You have your pop-up, <laughs> your pop-up uh, outlets there. Frigidaire for the refrigerator. Fridge there for your microwave, oven, plenty of cabinet space. Loving the quartz design for your 
uh, countertops here, five burner Frigidaire stove, chrome fixtures for your cabinets. And if you guys watched any of my videos, you know I love the glass accented cabinetry, okay? Right across here, we have a Frigidaire dishwasher. And you guys know I love an oversized farm sink. This is an oversized steel Collier farm sink, okay? It's just the small details. Let me put a window here, right? So you can look outside your backyard, get a lot of natural lighting in. And we're gonna go to the backyard a little bit later, but this is where you would go to your two-car garage. So you would come in from your two-car garage here, okay? And here we have a pantry, okay? Let me know what you think of this home, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of the home. You know I love interacting with you all. Could you see yourself living here? <laughs> here we have a storage area utilizing the space underneath the stairs quite well. And here is our dedicated office area, okay? Nice size desk. Plenty of space in the corner there for uh, a chair. So if you do have guests or, or, or if, or if you, you, know, you have a client that you need to speak with, they have room there. Plenty of natural lighting, oversized shutter blinds, okay? Right outside of your office, you have your slate hexagon style tile, freestanding vanity with chrome fixtures. And we have linen closet. Okay. Now let's go upstairs so we can see the game area, the rest of the bedrooms and the media room. So here we are upstairs. Guys, let me know what you think of this floor plan. Again, this is 2,400 square feet. I think they utilize the space well. If you're interested in purchasing a home in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, be sure to text READY to number below. If you're looking to list your home, I would love to be of assistance, okay? So let's look at our first bedroom on the second level. This is kind of decorated as a baby's room. Uh, as you see, they have a crib in here. I think a queen size bed would be perfect in this space. Anything more than that would definitely overpower the space. Here we have our closet and more storage area, okay? To my right, we have a full bath, slate tile, dual quartz for the vanity, countertops, chrome fixtures, and we have white subway tile for the shower with chrome fixtures. Okay. Linen closet. And straight ahead, we have our last bedroom. Queen size bed, two medium size dressers, okay? Full dresser here. All right, again, guys, I know I sound like a broken record, 2,400 square feet. So, I mean, the, the, the house, the space distributor, I think it's just, they did a great job, Highland Homes. And again, you have a small walk-in closet, okay? Now for the fun area, now for the fun area. What do you think of this area, guys? Here is the game room area. Plenty of space for a pool table or poker table. Nice game area, okay? If you want to put a TV along this wall, you can do that as well. And again, I'm a big fan of spaces like this by windows because I mean, you just it's just utilizing all of the space, great for entertaining. And here we have our media room, which is always one of my favorite rooms in any home almost. <laughs> Love it, I'm, you guys know I'm a big fan of media rooms. Here you can get, Eight people in here comfortably. You have a 75 inch television set. I think you can even go as, as high as maybe 85 and it wouldn't overpower the space. 100 might be a little bit too much, but yeah, 85 inch television set. Uh, I could definitely see entertaining family and friends <laughs> in this area. So let's go outside so I can show you the backyard area. I think it's a really nice area for being on a 40 foot lot and we'll talk a little bit about the area. So stick around. So here we are back downstairs. 
Let's go to the backyard and let's talk about this nice covered patio. Perfect for, I think, to seat four. And I think this is a great size yard for a 40 foot lot. If you want to put a nice small, kind of small rectangular pool here, you do have the option to do that and have plenty of space here to entertain family and friends, kids, if you have pets. Uh, so I'm loving how they utilize the space for again for 2,400 square feet on a 40 foot lot. Now let's talk about the area, right? So much talk about this area, so I'll try to make it quick, all right? You have 75, which is literally probably 10 minutes away, Highway 75. Your five minutes to 380 will get you, of course, to Highway 75. 380 will also get you to Dallas Toll Road, okay, which will get you to downtown Dallas as well within about 35 to 40 minutes. You have Universal Studio uh, that's projected to break ground here very soon. That is about 15 minutes away. The Star, Jerry's World, uh, Legacy West, plenty of places to eat, plenty of places to shop, movie theater, brand new schools coming to the area, high rate schools. I mean, this location is just prime. You have five lots available, guys. So definitely reach out to me so I can tell you about the awesome incentives I can get you connected with, okay? Get you hooked up with. You're gonna wanna text READY to the number below, okay? Be sure to follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Can. Subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. Health, peace, and prosperity to you all. And I will see you at the next tour. Bye-bye.